Welcome back to the Adventure Beyond Kitchen. So now we're gonna do some venison jerky out of that big stag I shot. So to kick it off, we're gonna grab a bunch of garlic, cut that up. While I'm doing that, I'll whack up the recipe and we'll crack straight into it. Alrighty, so we've chopped most of the clove of garlic here. Whack half of that in now and I'll put the other half in when we got the sauce in. So here's the lineup of ingredients that I've got. I'm kind of missing a, a few, but uh, we'll make do. I really like to use pretty much equal parts Worcestershire and barbecue sauce. I just find they complement each other really well. So I'll whack in this whole bottle of Worcestershire. It's about 250 mil. We'll whack in the first bottle of smoky barbecue sauce. This just really thickens it up. So I had a bad experience using soy sauce with this recipe once and the jerky came out tasting a little bit like fish. So we're only going to put in about a tablespoon or two in of that. And we'll go straight in with the second bottle of barbecue sauce. Whack in a fair decent wallop of sweet chilli. That should get a nice kick in there. I think that'll do on the Worcestershire. A fair bit of sesame oil. And we'll mix that all around. Looking at this, we might even have to whack the rest of that Worcestershire in. It's pretty thick with that barbecue sauce at the moment. Whack in more of this garlic. So that's pretty decent. Now we'll get the meat out and we'll cut it up. So we've probably got about two, maybe three kilo of shoulder here. And this is what we'll be using for the jerky itself. This was hung for seven days, so it's actually incredibly tender. I'll show you that when I get some better cuts of the shoulder out but it looks really nice and I'm so pumped to see how it's gonna come out. So pretty much all I'm gonna do with these cuts of jerky is just cut them uh, anywhere from two to five mil thick. Get a load of this cut. So that's straight off the shoulder blade. So we've finally finished cutting up our jerky. I don't know how much is there, but there's my hand for a bit of reference. So we've got a fair bit there. Hopefully it'll fit in this bowl. Just plonk it in. So I've just double glad wrapped. Now we'll chuck it in the fridge for the next 12 hours overnight. And we'll let that marinate. See you then. Alrighty, so it is the morning. This has been in here for about 13 hours now. Should be well and truly marinated. We'll uh, dump it over here actually, I'll give you a quick look. So yeah, that's looking pretty good. It smells amazing. Yeah, so I just like to strain it to get any of the excess kind of sauce and stuff off. Don't do it for very long. Only a couple of minutes. So from here, we pretty much just grab out our chunks of meat. We just lay it out pretty flat. Exactly like that. Something I should have mentioned last night is um, you want to use cuts of meat that have the least amount of fat as possible because fat on meat that you're actually trying to jerk is gonna make it a lot harder to get the moisture out of it because fat holds on to water. But deer and uh, kangaroo and other game meat like that is actually really good for jerky because it naturally has very limited amounts of fat in the meat. 
which is also why it's a lot healthier for you than eating lamb and, and beef. So here's the first tray all done up. It's looking pretty nice. You can see a couple of bits missed out on a bit of the marinade, but like most of them got really well coated in it last night. They've gone a really nice kind of dark brown. So we'll just lift that up and we'll whack in the first tray. Boom. So this is the last tray going in now. I've only got a couple of pieces that are kind of touching each other. For the most part, they're all pretty good. So it's looking real nice. Anyway, I will let that sit for the next three hours. Then I'll swap the trays around. Uh, and then we'll let it sit for another three hours. So six all up and we'll be good to go. Alrighty, this has just ended. Let's have a look. I think it was on there for about seven and a half hours all up. I like my jerky pretty chewy, so that looks real nice. Give her a quick taste test. All right, it. That's pretty good. Don't mind a bit of venison jerky. That's bloody beautiful. What do you reckon, James? Very nice. Very nice. Awesome. That's nice, actually. <laughs> that's very good. Yeah, good. <laughs> I just got a chili sport. <laughs> yeah. Bloody oath. So I didn't film an outro for this video because I was in a pretty big rush. I was getting on a plane in a few hours actually, so it was pretty uh, chaotic. Now, I can't remember how many grams of jerky we actually made, but I remember at the time looking it up for like the monetary value, if you're gonna pay for it, came in at about $350 worth. So it was a fair bit there and it was shared between a couple of mates and I took the rest up here with me to Darwin and it's been pretty bloody good, I can tell you that much. Now, if you've made it this far, I think you deserve to know what's coming up in the next video and here we go. So there's a little bit of a teaser. We're back out in the state forest down south and through the power of YouTube, I'm gonna have a beard back on this chin. We're gonna go chase a few deer. So it should be a good one and I'll see you there.